Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 7, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us or copy our trades over here at eTrue or follow our full technical analysis over at Patreon. The links are down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. As, as you can see, we are trading at the 50, uh, 58,000 at this current stage. We're running quite a lot into resistance around this area here at the, basically at the 59,000. So we're trading just above the 20 exponential, a break below the 20. That opens the door to the 50 here at the 53,900, give or take. So the 20 and the 50 have been basically been major support basically for a really long time now. They've basically been bouncing off the 20 and the 50. So a break below this, it should offer a lot of support right at the 50 moving average. A break above these previous candlesticks here will go to the all-time highs. And if that breaks, then we'll go to... 50, uh, six, uh, 65 and to 70,000. Technical indicators otherwise are very flat at this current stage. If we look at, for example, the bullish band here, we can see that we're basically right in the middle of the, the middle and the upper part of the bullish band. So basically just hanging around there, nothing really happening in the for Bitcoin. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum continues to rally. We were all the way up towards the 2127. So at this current stage, the technical indicators, they are fairly bullish. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is still in bullish territory and the turn is basically turning around. RSI is technically flat. So a pullback at this point towards 2000 or the middle of the bullish band at 1818, that could be expected. Otherwise, uh, target here at the moment is all the way up here 2500 for Etrum. so it really turned around the here it looked like it was going to crash all the way down to the 200 moving average but it completely turned around and rallied from 1500 all the way up towards 2000 and above that so let's look at cardano so cardano had um, basically spiked way above the 50 move at the top of the bullish band here, all the way up towards 1.3219 uh, to be exact, and then fell apart. So at this current stage, technical indicators, uh, for example, MACD is crossing the signal lines, the CASIC is bullish, the, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. But uh, this pullback here, yeah, well, yes, that it's a good sign that it's basically spiking, but this massive pullback is usually not a really good sign. So we can see basically here also we have these major pullbacks here and then it just completely falls apart. Um, we are still trading above the 20 exponential and the 50 and as long as that is the case they will act as support and uh, we will continue this uh, grind towards the upside. But these spikes have occurred basically uh, three times now and have basically been completely sold into when we got above the bullish band. So um, at this current stage, uh, if we break below the 20 exponential, then we have the 50 right here at 1.128 and then the bottom of the bullish band at 1.068. So let's look at Litecoin, which had a really massive day both yesterday and also today. So this is getting way ahead of itself. Uh, pullback at this point is expected. We are testing the previous highs over here and are trading at $238 uh, for Litecoin. So at this current stage, all technical indicators are very bullish. Of course they are when you have this rally from the, from 168 all the way up to 238 Taking, and the RSI is overbought at this current stage and we are significantly outside of the bullish band. So it does mean like we will completely collapse here, but uh, if you look at the historical patterns for Litecoin, when we have gotten this uh, exposed at south of the bullish band, we tend to see movements like this. So gradual grinds like this are more stable, but moves like this and this and also this, usually they end up in a massive uh, flood of red. So at this current stage, really risky to buy it at this point but a massive move to the upside and uh, is still in a in a uptrend and is doing really really well uh, 20 and the 50 are holding uh, our major supports for litecoin 
if they draw a break, then the bottom of the bullish band usually offers quite a lot of support. So let's look at uh, NEO. So NEO also here, uh, we rallied all the way up towards 63 and then completely broke down. So this is a very negative candlestick. If we get a red candlestick here tomorrow, then that could basically lead us all the way down towards the middle of the bullish band at $46. Uh, taking indicators otherwise are very bullish, but we are significantly overbought here at in the RSI. We're at 78 and we're still outside of the bullish band. So at this current stage, this is expected for a pullback, but pullbacks uh, for this uh, cryptocurrency have been basically buying opportunities. So let's look at the dash. So Dash also has rallied from its bottom here at 108 all the way up to 273. So some of these minor cryptocurrencies are have been basically outperforming Bitcoin quite significantly the last few trading days. So we are still at the, the fifth day outside of the bull in Japan and we could basically fall towards the middle or the very bottom at technically any point right now. We are quite overstretched at this current stage. We're also on the edge of being overbought. Otherwise, technical indicators are very, very bullish. So the target here will most likely be 300 uh, or the base at the top here at 329. Uh, break uh, down from here, we could see um, resist, uh, support around 226. Um, that is at the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average right at this point. So let's look at the front. So I did cancel this um, cryptocurrency a few uh, a few weeks ago because well we were basically in a mood like this and nothing was but basically over here nothing was really happened and all of a sudden this just absolutely uh, explodes to the upside. This looks like a basically a pump dump to be to be fairly honest. It looks like somebody basically pumping this to the upside and then just selling this off um, and. Well, we have seen a, quite a lot of those uh, instances for, for some of these cryptocurrencies that people have just uh, gone and uh, ran the cryptocurrency and just, just pumped them up and then just uh, sold them off. And uh, yeah, that is not good, to be very honest. A lot of uh, is this very risky trading and a lot of people can get really hurt basically buying it here because it can basically drop all the way back to the bottom and you'll just get stuck here for... Well, for a really long time if you don't get stopped out. So if you look at what basically has happened here is that we were trading around 0 0.0483, yes, really low numbers. And then we rallied all the way up towards the top here of 0 0.1469. Before today, we just absolutely collapse so we were significantly outside of the bullish band here it was it could basically have happened at any point here but it did happen basically today technical indicators are all turning around so we were really high in the rsi as well we were at 91 and usually for most of these cryptocurrencies when they get towards the 90s they basically fall apart they lose well have can lose somewhere between 25 and, and half of their value within uh, a very short uh, period of time. Bitcoin back in 2017 lost uh, half of its value in only one week. And we have seen uh, occurrence like that the last few months uh, for in some of the cryptocurrency that have lost half of its value in, in basically a week and or two. So at this current stage, it is falling apart. We can look, for example, at the Fibonacci retracements to see where we will find support we can see the reason why we basically pull back from here is because we ran into the first Fibonacci retracement at 0 0.1097 the next one is down here the 50 at 0 0.969 and then we have the 61.8 at 0 0.0856 and that is just above the 20 exponential and usually this falls towards the 50 then it pulls back and then we can have a real drop towards the middle of the bullish band or basically the very bottom here if it doesn't fall all the way to the very bottom otherwise technical indicators for the macd is very bullish stochastic is crossing the signal and becoming bearish cci is still in uh, above 100 so it's still bullish but the rsi is momentum is definitely to the downside 
So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to copy our trades over here at eToro or follow us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.